I think we gotta get this question over with in this two minute video. Can sepsis or meningitis lead to sepsis? Basically, can meningitis lead to sepsis? And the question is, let's log it up. Read. So, meningitis, me meningitis due to an infection can cause sepsis. Sepsis, which was often called blood poisoning, is the body's life-threatening response to infection like strokes or heart attacks. Sepsis is a medical emergency that requires rapid diagnosis and treatment. So, yes. Now, if you have bacterial meningitis, which is due to an infection, like either a ear infection. Now, not always will an ear infection cause it, but it's one of the most high-risk ones and one of the highest-caused ones ever. You can actually get uh, meningitis from an ear infection and a sinus infection, but it's not always going to lead to that. So don't always think the worst of everything like I do. So meningitis, which is also known as viral meningitis or bacterial meningitis. Bacterial meningitis is mainly caused by an infection. It's why, aka the name bacterial meningitis. Um, bacterial meningitis can cause sepsis because it's a body's life-threatening response. Now, it might sound confusing because sepsis is less dangerous than meningitis, right? Well, not exactly. Meningitis, of course, can cause is a brain infection, which is already worse than sepsis, but sepsis is the last stage of meningitis. Therefore, it makes it maybe not as life-threatening as meningitis, but is one of the worst stages of meningitis. Just so you know, I hope you learned something today that meningitis will lead to sepsis if untreated. Now, that won't always be the case because, again, you might just die from meningitis because it's already a very painful slash life-threatening disease and infection. But there is a possibility that it can cause sepsis.